everyone and welcome to the Better Everyday YouTube channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Randy. On the channel now, I've reacted to Peter K several times and recently I've been doing reactions to Max and Patty clips, um, but I saw this and decided to do a reaction to this this week because Christmas is a few days away, so I thought it would be fun to watch something Christmas themed during the week of Christmas. I'm excited because Peter K has made me laugh. I'm more of like a giggle person than an outright laugh person. It's a rare occasion that I like, oh, oh, oh. you know, it's just not really my style. Um, or my, I don't do that. I guess everybody's laughs are different. So, you know, some people have like these cackles that are <laughs> a little evil. Um, anyway, I'm going to stop talking. Let's check out Peter Kay's Christmas Car Share. Big, big drive home. So, today's tea time teaser. How was your appraisal? Oh, went well, actually. Talked about moving me forward for a promotion and the putting me in charge of Christmas. Yeah. <laughs> That's fantastic. Well done. Mm -hmm. 184. 184. Wow. Well. So it's still Christmas. I love it. I you starting a Christmas CD already? Shall I bring it in for you tomorrow? Not in this car. Step into uh -huh. Christmas, step into Christmas, dear. What's your favourite Christmas song? Not that one. Uh -huh. oh, come on, but that's too strong, because that's my favourite Christmas song. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas right. because right. we'll right. be driving home for Christmas. Yeah, leave it. I can't wait to see those faces. Seriously, don't do that. Don't do that. Driving home for <laughs> I get excited like that. I love Christmas time and all I'm all about listening to Christmas music. We drove out of state Saturday, three hours each way, and I was like, let's put on my Christmas playlist. My husband's like, but it's Christmas time. It's the, the, the time of the year that you're allowed to listen to the Christmas music and really just enjoy it. And so I get her enthusiasm completely. Oh, all right. Oh, all right. All right, Grinch. Grinch. <laughs> Now, and now Christmas CD. Now that's what I call Christmas. Is that the first one? I remember when Now started. I had like the first seven or ten or eleven Now CDs, and I don't know if I had the Christmas one. I wonder when that came out. We can't be playing this. Recognize it? I know what it is. I love this one. Love it. It's a love-hate kind of deal with this song. I should probably have this. This is wrong! <laughs> you can't be playing this. It's the middle of summer. Look at the weather outside. <laughs> flags. And you can play Christmas songs whenever you like, John. Yeah. Oh, well, you play them at Christmas. That's why they're called Christmas songs. Yeah. <laughs> okay, first of all, I just smacked the microphone. So that might have come out on your end very loud. If so, I am sorry. Second of all... I don't want to get in trouble from this song playing, like a copyright strike from uh, Mariah Carey. I listen to this song at Christmas time. It's fun. It's a fun song. Tell you what, she's got like some it. pipes on. I'll give her that. <laughs> what? Pipes. Singing voice. All I want for Christmas is you. You know, she says that's all she wants for Christmas, but I'll bet you any money, if that's all you got her, on Christmas morning, she'd lose her freaking mind. <laughs> Yeah, what she really means is all about Christmas is you. Yeah. Or carrying a sack filled with about four grand's worth of presents. Exactly. Typical woman. <laughs> Says one thing means another. <laughs> this is from one of my favourite Christmas films ever. Love Actually. Watch it every year. Love Actually? I've heard of that, I haven't seen it. That's her favourite Christmas film? Apparently. She went every year and all. Every day on every bloody channel. It's <laughs> a death of it. Play at the end at that school show when Martin McCutcheon and Hugh Grant have the kiss. The full what the a people. load of crap! Wow! As if. What do you mean? Well, as if the Prime Minister of England had fall for a bloody maid. Of course he could, John. Lot of old bull. It's not bull. It's love, actually. I'd <laughs> fall for Hugh Grant easily. You don't have to look at me once. Hugh Grant? Oh yes. Definitely. <laughs> <It's> gorgeous. Would <laughs> climb over him for a piss, John. Charming. <laughs> I'm gonna have to watch that. Oh, that got loud. You hear that noise? That's Roy Wood, that, cashing his royalty checks. <laughs> Don't mind being a pound behind that fella. Oh, 
Papa reminds me of Christmas, this. Yeah, well, do. I always get a mixed up with Slade. Well, we're both the same year, 1973. The year I was born. And that's why. Well, what year were you born? 1976. Oh, we used to play this every year when we were decorating the tree. I remember having this on a single. I always used to believe in the words because I actually do wish it could be Christmas every day. Well, I'd have it every four years if you're up to me. Uh -huh. The Olympics. <laughs> it's Jesus' birthday. And? I don't force him to celebrate mine. <laughs> Just a lot of stress at the end of the day. Why stress? Hassel. You put on two stone over two weekends, you don't know what day it is, and when your bins are going to be acting, they're nothing. There's piss all on television, then they've got the cheek for it to repeat that twice. Sat in silence with people you can't stand for to see rest of the year. Bloody panic buying presents for them at last minute. Then you've got Amazon leading your merry dance, not delivering the parcels on time, hanging out <laughs> GPO like an idiot in rain. <laughs> Those are, I can see the negatives to that. Uh, I was gonna say, I've never heard this song that I know of. And there's something else I was gonna say, but I've already forgotten. I'm gonna have GPO like remember. an idiot in rain. GPO. Is that the post office? Bar humbug, John. Well. I'm actually surprised you haven't been visited by three ghosts. <laughs> it's Christmas! That's <laughs> Told you, psycho. <laughs> and it's summer! <laughs> you tit. Just call it a tit. Lonely this Christmas. Merry Christmas. Did I got got any carols? No. Hold on, I have to fix the volume because the uh, the audio on this video just changed and it got a bit louder. They don't do it now, that's what I call carol. Oh, I like this one. It's one of my favourites. They're all your favourites. <laughs> That's because they're all Christmas songs. <laughs> this is wrong, this. <laughs> Look at the leaves on the trees. Every time I hear this, it just makes me want to march. Good luck with that in a fear. <laughs> Always makes me a bit sad, this one. Yeah, I know. Melancholy. Happy sad. It's the wish I was at home for Christmas bit gets me. Always reminds me of my dad. Oh, why was he a soldier? No. <laughs> he always used to play this and, and he always used to lift me up and down trying with me in his arms. Lordy, must have been strong. And what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> well, how old were you? I don't know, six, seven. Well, you can't have been. This song didn't come out till the 90s. Did it balls, Christmas 1980, this, John or Louis? No, no, it can't have been because I had this on cassette tape and this song used to come on after his 17th day, so definitely 90s. <laughs> what, what does that mean, a cassette tape? It used to come on after he's 17 and they were definitely 90s because I had the puffer jacket. But where did you get the cassette tape from? Someone made me a mixtape. Well, what does that mean? That means frigo! Why would she have mixed them all up? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it's a different version, but if it was a mixtape, man, I used to make mixtapes all the time. Doesn't mean it came out that year. Well, she mixed them all I haven't up. heard a lot of these songs. I want some ice cream. Uh, Let me guess, this is your favorite. It is actually, John. <laughs> this is my all-time favorite. Yeah. This is this is my favorite too. Is it? <laughs> Really? Oh, and you would break you. Get you into the Christmas mood. She says, looking a 99. Great. It's not that hot. I've got those flip-flops. She's got those flip-flops. Oh, that was cute. There's something about Peter Kay that watching him just brings you joy. It makes you smile. Even hearing him list his complaints for Christmas time, which I could see, you know, not everybody has all of those negatives every year, but I'm sure at some point everyone comes across them. I just did a family get together Saturday. It had its pros and cons. Christmas can get stressful if you wait until the last minute for things. I shopped early, so I've been done for a while. Um, but it was funny. It made me smile. And next time I watch Peter Kay, 
I'll probably continue on with the Max and Patty just because I've been working my way through them, so I want to, they, they're funny. Uh, so if you haven't seen my other Peter K reactions, I will link that below in the description to this video. It'll say um, my reaction playlist to Peter K or something like that. And then I'll have a link to my other Peter K reactions. But that was funny. I enjoyed it. And it also made me realize how many Christmas songs I have not heard. Um, anyway, thank you for the recommendation. Thank you for tuning in, and I'll see you next time. Have a good one.